Hello my loves, I'm back again with another tutorial and this one is a really fun New Year's Eve inspired tutorial and instead of doing like a traditional silver or black smoky eye for now, I wanted to show you guys something a little bit different and this one's a nice chocolate and pink kind of strawberry dusty rose smoky eye with glitter and I loved the way that this came out. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm doing is actually prepping my skin and I'm using a new product for me. This is the Helixer Goddess Glow Illuminating Beauty Serum. Moving straight into the eyes, the first color that I'm taking is coming from the Juvia's Place Nubian One Palette and I'm taking the warm brown shade that's at the bottom of the palette and I'm just popping that into the crease. Next, to deepen up the crease and add some definition, I went into the Nubian 2 palette, also from Juvia's Place, and I'm taking the shade Kenya, which is a deep, kind of cool toned chocolate brown, and I am using a 217 brush to give it a more precise blend and application into the orbital bone area, like directly into the crease, because I definitely want some depth. Once I had that blended out, I'm taking my Inglot Duraline to revive my MAC Paint Pot in Constructivist and I'm kind of doing a faux cut crease but not really. I'm just laying it onto my mobile lid and blending it out. Adding the Duraline made this much easier to work with because I've had it for a while and it's a little dried out. Going straight on top of Constructivist, I'm taking a brown cosmetic grade glitter. It has a little bit of gold in there too, which I really like to give it some dimension. And to adhere this to the lid, I'm using my Sally Girl Gel Adhesive. You guys know I really like this. It's only 99 cents and you can find it at any Sally Beauty Supply as well as online. On top of the brown glitter, I wanted to add a little bit of fun, a little bit of extra sparkle. So I'm taking some pink foiled glitter flakes. These I got from Michaels I believe and they're the Martha Stewart collection and I'm using the same glitter adhesive to just lay that on top and I'm brushing it on and wherever it falls because I want it to look random and sporadic off camera I did my liner lashes and just one coat of my foundation so I'm going in to highlight and conceal and I'm using max bright forecast prep and prime pen guys I've really been liking this as concealer and highlighter it colors corrects it gives me a little bit of brightness and I don't feel the need to go in with an extra concealer because I feel like it gives me everything I need then I'm also setting with a little bit of Laura Mercier's translucent powder and while that's baking and cooking I'm gonna go ahead and bronze and contour I'm using an old well, not old product, but something that I purchased and haven't really used it since. And it's the MAC MSF Pinwheel in Naturally Enhanced. This was a limited edition product, so you cannot get it anymore. But I actually really like this for bronzing and contouring. You definitely want to be light-handed because it is pigmented. Super, super pigmented. For blush, I'm using Coastal Scents Blush in the shade Dashing, which is a beautiful neutral peachy bronze with a little bit of glow to it. And to add some extra glow, using one of my favorite highlighting brands, I'm using House of Beauty's highlighter in the shade Self Reflect. This one I don't use a lot, but I don't know why, because it's super pretty. It's almost like a soft lavendery silver with some gold flecks in there. For the lips, I went in with Nika K's lip pencil in the shade Nude. One of my favorite lip pencils, as you can see, it's a nub. You can find this at your local beauty supply store for like 99 cents. The price may have gone up since I've purchased mine, but it's a really pretty cool toned nude pencil. With that I'm using Hard Candy's Velvet Mousse Lip Cream in the shade Sweet Pea. Now you can definitely stop here and leave it like this if you want a matte pink lip because this does dry down to a matte finish. However, you guys know I love gloss so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of gloss on top. This one is a Maybelline gloss. I can't remember the name but I will definitely leave it 
in the description box below and this is the finished look guys i really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope that you guys want to recreate this for new year's i think it's a really pretty look definitely different from the traditional new year's eve looks if you guys want to see more pictures and more information of course the link to my blog will be in the description box below and until my next video i will talk to you guys later bye